Ah, let us see. Let us see. Oh, man, sometimes I say things. I just don't even know how those come out of my mouth. Oh, and there's bowls that match. <gasps> Corvosier cognac. Did I say that right? House of Corvosier cognac. He's a really pretty parrot plate. Oh my goodness, he's very pretty. Oh my goodness, the googly eyes are still surrounding us here in the store. Guess what day it is? It's time to shop the shelves of the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Boy, it is. Uh, it has been a week <laughs> after our grand opening celebration last week. I don't even know what's been put back out on the shelves as I have been racing around like a chicken with my head cut off this week because Rachel has been gone, Noah has been sick, and uh, I haven't had time to do nothing. But uh, we're going to come in here and see what it looks like and pull some things for tomorrow's whatnot sale and as always if you see something that I don't put into my cart you are always welcome to leave a comment and let me know you would like me to sell that item also okay let's get shop done well you know we got to do our first things first get our lucky cart ah uh, let us see let us see. Oh, man, sometimes I say things. I just don't even know how those come out of my mouth. Let us see what cool new things have made their way to our front shelves. Now, these shelves get overlooked quite a bit because it's very bright over here. And it's, it's easy to miss that there are shelves of goodies on this side when you walk in. So if you are local and shopping, Please remember to check out these. We try to keep it a little bit seasonal, put things, you know, like we've got Easter up here right now. Oh, we got some really cute Easter up here. Oh, I really feel like this chicken needs to go in the sale because he's just downright adorable. So I think he's the first item in our cart. And I'm going to skip back over here because these little egg cups are super adorable. And there are four of them in different colors. So I think with Easter coming, I'm going to put those in the sale this week as well. Oh, and there's two more down here also. We'll grab those also. Ooh, those are melamine. I would not have guessed those are melamine. Lori Gates melamine. Wow. I heard Lori Gates is a pretty good brand. If you guys would like me to run these, I would be happy to do so. They're in really good condition with all the different colors. Yellow, green, orange, red. Oh, the red is stunning. Let's see if... I think I had someone leave me a comment last week about these little enamelware pictures too. Where would you guys come from? You came from Hobby Lobby and you were $24.99 there. So the way our, our tag system works, if you come in and shop in the store... This item would be discounted 30% because it's over 30 days old. And once it gets to 60 days old, it gets it comes down 60%. So it's always a treasure hunt in here. But I think I will run one of these pictures in this week's sale. Now these ones are also Lori Gates. Very interesting. I think I like these ones better though. Oh, and there's bowls that match. Oh, look at that. There are matching bowls too. All right, let me know if you'd like me to run those. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> in the sale. Got things knocking over in my cart. This is a really cute little pitcher with, I thought they were strawberries, but they don't, they look more like cherries. I don't know, panware, panware. I don't know much about panware. I think I picked this up last week too. Is that a signal that I need to sell it? I think the little bit of fading here, I'm not quite sure about. But you know what? I start everything at $1 in my whatnot sale. So I think we can find this a good home. What do you think? All right. I'm kind of wiping out the front window. I'm going to have to find some new things to put up here. Wow. Look at that bowl. So this one, this one would be 60% off. Actually, this one last week was $1. Nobody snagged it for a dollar. That surprises me. But now it's 60% off because we have 
stopped the $1 blue tag sale for now. We may bring it back up again in the future, but for now, we've stopped it. All right, we've got a beautiful shelf here of blue items, it looks like, this week. Again, Patty has been back and putting things back together for us. This is a neat little stein. It's got a 970 on it. It's probably German. We don't put anything over the marks. So if it was marked German, we would, we would have been able to see that. But you know what? It's a cool little item I think I'll put in the sale this week. Kind of a nice little teacup and saucer. Corvosier cognac. Did I say that right? House of Corvosier cognac. It's kind of a nice glass. All right. Now, if you visit the store in person, please don't miss this amazing little booth here right at the front. This is Crystal Van Ho's booth. And she is the Pyrex jewelry lady, as well as some really amazing vintage items. And she allows me to sell a piece of jewelry in the sale every week. We have rings. We still have keychains. We have necklaces galore. And it is buyer's choice when I run this. So when you bid over on whatnot, there's earrings, you get to pick any item you want of the jewelry. We've got some glowy glass. I did not turn on the glowy glass lights, but you can see, I always do this. It's not locked. I can open this and show you. These are all uranium glass and they do glow. So beautiful pieces. It will be buyer's choice and we'll be running that in the sale. You can find Crystal over on Instagram and Facebook and Etsy. She's Crystal Van Ho everywhere you look for her. I just wanted to show off the sign that we had made that shows that this is what's going on every day at The Good Stuff. We have the 30 days 30% off, 60 days 60% off. It does exclude white tags. It does because those are, you know, that's like the vendor booths. That's Crystal and Carrie and, and Mikey and Sunny and Picker Road and Tiffany. So we can't be in charge of those discounts for them. That's why the white tags are not included. But they run sales all the time as well, all on their own. Uh, if you bring in a donation, it is 10% off. Uh, Wednesdays is seniors and military discount day. And so that is something we just recently added. All right, let's come over here in our... Oh, it looks a little bare. I feel like I need to you know, put another display or something here. Look at all this open space. Yes, this is where my brain starts squirreling and going, what do I need to do here? I need to do something here. Yes, this is a little bare. All right, but let's look and see what is on this little display. Oh, he's a really pretty parrot plate. Oh my goodness, he's very pretty. I do like him. We have this beautiful set of Mikasa China that came in. We do sell it by the piece because I find that if somebody just needs to get some replacements for a set, they don't want to have to buy the whole set. So we are testing the waters on simply selling it by the piece. It's a really nice set. It's a, a very nice set for resale as well. All right, anything else here? Just some cute stuff. All right, over here, we have redone some stuff. I can see Patty's been very busy in the store. There's some cute items over here. I am gonna have a bunch of these little bulletin boards. Actually, I think it goes this way. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of these in all different designs. They're stamped. Those are gonna be in the buy now section. So you can just come and buy one of these. And the reason we do that is they're super lightweight. So that means when you buy one of those, everything else you buy then in the sale has a very discounted shipping. So then the heavier stuff, the glass and the pottery and things that I sell, those will be a much more reasonable shipping cost for you after you buy something lightweight. It's just kind of the, the design of whatnot and how it works. 
Oh, look at these little salts and peppers. Little dainty little salt and peppers. These haven't been here too terribly long. If anybody wants me to run those, let me know. I could even put those probably over in the buy now section, actually. I would not be opposed to doing that. That looks like that came off my stage. I think it did. Oh, what are you? Embroidered. Like a table um, runner kind of a thing. That's kind of nice. I wouldn't be opposed to selling that. Let me know if you'd like me to run that. There is, it's vintage at least, I'm not sure if it's antique, a tree topper in here. And I'm wondering if anybody would be interested in me running that glass tree topper. I think, I'm, I, think I might do it. I think I might do it this week. Oh my goodness, the googly eyes are still surrounding us here in the store. If you don't know what that was about, go back and watch our live stream we did last week at the grand opening. Gianni Bernini, brand spanking new wallet. That's very nice too. Oh, Munchie's Guide to Dinner. That looks like a good book. Comfort Food. From William Sonoma. That looks like a good cookbook, too. We've got these really expensive Hestra gloves. Some kind of, are they like driving gloves, skiing gloves? I don't know. I just know this is a really, really good brand. If anybody wants me to run something like that, I have no problem. I, I, this is shop the shelves, you guys. I'll run anything you guys want me to run. I think I did have somebody ask me about the Oliver Twist set. So this is the uh, this is the singer's edition, and it's got the script and the music. And then this is the teacher's manual that has everything else. And it looks like the binding has come loose there. So I think it's time before anybody does any more damage to these to run these in the sale this week. Here's our little basket full of more of these little bulletin board designs which yep we're going to put a bunch of these in the buy now section so we changed this into our kind of our bougie boutique section of clothing purses shoes we've been having a lot of fun with it now i mean look at that coat look at that coat uh, <laughs> it's so fun because betsy gets really excited when this kind of stuff comes in Judy skates for rain cheetahs. Boy, that is so vintage. So vintage and cool. And then we have just a, a nice little mix of better brands over here. Kind of the upscale stuff. We got all this amazing Betsy Johnson clothing in. Oh my gosh, look at this stuff. And yeah, we do, we do have this stuff priced up a little bit. That is because we are trying to get the most money that we can for our nonprofits. But rest assured, if it's here for a while, it's going to get marked down. And at some point, it'll be at a reseller put it online price. So that's kind of how we do it around here. Uh, but we do try to get the most money that we can for our nonprofits because we are supporting six different nonprofits now. And they get all the goods donated in here. So we have to we have to honor that. And uh, I think it's working quite well now. The resellers are still finding amazing bargains. If stuff's here, doesn't sell to the collector end, then they can then snag it and put it online and get max pricing. I kind of like this purse. It's a little bit dirty. A little bit dirty, but look at the motifs on there. I'm I'm again, if you want me to run something that I don't put in the cart. By all means, leave me a comment. Let me know when I will pull and run that sort of stuff. Look at these Michael Kors rain boots. Those are pretty fabulous. We got Ferrari and Jack Spade phone covers. Unfortunately, I think they're probably for phones that not too many people have, like a Samsung Galaxy S7. That's too bad. See, these would have been a dollar this week. I just don't know that there's enough, enough of a market for that. What do we got here? We got, what What do we got? Do What do we got? I know that's not good grammar. It's luggage and passport. I don't know. 
who the maker is on that. It doesn't say. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Spectre and Company. Genuine leather. So it's for your passport and your luggage. Brand new little set there. I am debating doing away with this display table. I don't know quite how to deal with it because everything kind of blends into it. And that's kind of the problem that I have to solve. Um, I like it. All the little sides, they'll come out for different levels. There's, there's little pieces that'll come up. It's a great, great table. Uh, I just don't know how to use it effectively yet. So this is my quandary of the week. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. Please, please, please. And it's best not to email me, but definitely leave the comments. I do look at all the comments, even though I don't get to answer a lot of them. I do read every comment that comes through, folks. So if you leave me that comment down below, I will see it. And here I am spotting this really cool mold that has a pineapple in it. I mean, this is made to hang on the wall, but I don't know why you couldn't use it and make some cool pineapple jello or something, but I think we'll put that in the sale. So we did move our kids stuff all over here. We put all the kids baggies on the end here so we could keep an eye on things. And uh, we've got a two-sided children's display now with with lots of plush. Oh, look at this little cat. Oh, is that a for real? I think it might be. Now we should be testing this stuff, so hopefully he works. Um, I almost want to go back and test it. Oh, look at little Gans Collie. <gasps> look at this butterfly. Oh, you are so cute. You're a little Brownie Baker's Originals plush butterfly. See, I haven't even looked through this. I see some... Uh, is that the horse from, fr no, from, fr I want to say from Frozen. No, who's that horse from? Who's that horse from? Oh my gosh, look at the snail. Mystere Cirque du Soleil snail. Oh, I might have to get this one for Rachel. She does kind of like snails. And here is the other side. Now, you guys had told me before that you would be all about a game sale and I will tell you that one of our amazing volunteers Brenda went through every single game here and made sure all the pieces were there so we can now have a game sale where I can guarantee that all the pieces are included with the game so watch for that popping up I don't know if it'll happen this week but I'm thinking next week it's coming soon, so make sure you're make sure you're following me on whatnot because that's where it's going to take place. I always get asked, "Do you have Funko Pops in your sale?" Look at these. I might run some Funko Pops this week. We've got uh, Captain Malcolm Reynolds. We've got Cosima Niehaus. I don't know any of these people. Dancing Groot. Oh, I like Dancing Groot. We've got. Orf Orphean Black, Princess Ada, and we've got Sarah Manning, Albus Dumbledore, Allison Hendricks, Anna from Frozen, Elsa from Frozen, and Kristoff from Frozen. So I'm thinking we might run some of those this week. How do you guys feel about glass fruit? I think it might be time to run some of my glass fruit. I'm a little enamored with the carrot, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we're gonna run maybe like a buyer's choice glass fruit piece this week. We got peppers and peppers and, and peppers. <laughs> Watch for those in this week's sale. All right, let's go see what our shelves look like this week. What cool things do we need to pull and run? This is a really nice perfume bottle, Mariella Barani. You can see the remnants of the perfume in there. It's kind of nice. I don't know. It's, it, I don't know if that's a collectible perfume bottle or not, but I feel like it might be. I feel like I'm going to run that. Oh, look at that. Sitting right there waiting for me. That's Fenton. It sure is. That is a uh, 95th anniversary Fenton from the year 2000 in bougie blue and everything. 
Yeah, we'll definitely run that this week. There's a really nice little oil lamp down there. Now this one is white tagged. I'm not sure how that got out on the main floor, if it's white tagged. But I feel like that came off of my stage, so I am okay with running that this week. I'll go ahead and put that in the cart too. Ooh, it's gonna be a very full sale, I suspect, because I'm finding some good stuff, like this little, I think this is Indiana Diamond Point. It's somebody Diamond Point, little glass dish. I like it, let's run that too. I really, <laughs> I really love shopping my own shelves and seeing all the cool stuff that gets donated. Absolutely love it. These are cool vinegar and oils. There's another little precious moments. This is a neat dish. Look at the flowers on that. Nice pattern, very spring. Again, with our pricing system, this one would be 60% off. But you know what? Well, let's put it out there on whatnot because I feel like you guys will appreciate it. And over here, what do my wondering eyes do appear is some amazing cocktail stirs, glass cocktail stirs that are birds and palm trees and one little lone flamingo, but we will run those also. Oh, look at this little apple counter. That is so sweet, like an abacus with apples. Love it. Big hug mug is still here. That looks like Stangle. Are you Stangle? You are Stangle. Look at that. It's a little floral cup that's a Stangle. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I kind of like it. I think I'll put it in the cart. Mmm, those guys are still here. Oh, look at these pretty ladies. This is a Blanc de Chine. Oh, she's missing an arm. But she's not, see, they should be the same. That's so sad. I don't know what that mark is there. Hmm, I feel like she's got some age on her. You know what, let's go ahead and run her. And if anybody wants me to run the one that's missing the one hand, I'm happy to do so. I start everything at a dollar. Let me know if you want me to put her in the sale and we can rescue her too. All right, we got like the brown section going here and the black section and the silver section. And I see a cute little glass kitty cat who also is a Fenton. Look at that. We have another Fenton piece that we will absolutely run in the sale. We have our name is Mud Mugs still available. Teacher, police, fireman. What's this one, secretary? Assistant, miracle worker. God, I feel like these need to be turned around. There we go. What's this one say? Proud to serve. There we go. Helsinki, Finland. That's interesting. Kind of like that one, not marked on the bottom. The big 60, the big 70. Oh, those are cute. Those little flower frames down there. Again, let me know if you want me to run something. This is one of our newest display pieces that lets us put some of the smaller art on display and easy to pick through. We are still gonna have a bunch of our little doggy uh, sweaters and, and things and shirts over in the buy now section of the sale. Those should be up hopefully by the time you're seeing this, but if not, shortly thereafter. That's on my list of things that I need to get done. Let's look through the glasses. See if anything stands out to me. I am looking at this copper bowl. It's not copper. It's, it's a ceramic bowl in a copper color. It's pretty stunning, actually. And I think we're going to run it in the sale. All right, let's see what we got happening on this side of the aisle. We have a lot of stuff. I can tell you that much. A lot, a lot of stuff. He's really cute. He's blowing a kiss. <laughs> he needs a little hand wash is what he needs. He's very cute. Let's run him in the sale. All right, 
coming down the line here. Got some kitcheny stuff. Got some of Annette's fabulous creations that she makes. I'm so excited. I found a whole box of little pieces that she can use to make more of these. See, she made that out of a coaster. Out of a coaster. And then she's got all these little boxes. See, that lid goes on there. And then you open it up and it's a little traveling altar. Same with this one. Take the lid off. I'd be happy to run some of those. Oh, this one goes on this one. Oh, it's not a coaster. It's a little box. Okay, it just got a little bit separated. If you'd like me to run some of those, I'd be happy to do that. In fact, we could even just do a choice lot on those. I could come right over here and do that. Look at this super old hot water bottle. Oh my goodness. The days of old. Unfortunately, it's got a little cracking to it. You couldn't use it, but man, oh man. Does that bring back memories? Maybe maybe not for some of you, but I bet for some of you it does. Hello. Look at that little guy sitting up there still. He's cute. There's a lot of things that I could pull in the sale, but I have to also keep track that I only have so much time to sell stuff. So I leave room to allow for the things that you guys are going to leave in the comments that you want me to run. So I don't overload too many of the things that I pull. That has a very, very glassy baby look, but it is not. It is a Mikasa piece. That is a Mikasa candle holder trying to look like a glassy baby. I kind of think I want to run it though because it is a really nice piece of glass. Trying to find a place where you're going to see that almost an iridescent amber coming through there. Yeah, let's run that too. All right. See, I have more of those pictures. If I get anybody else saying they really want me to run more of those pictures, I could do that too. Let's see what we have over here on our little sea life section. We always tend to have little sea life things. Like, look at this guy little seashells in the sand. I think I just saw one of these at uh, Goodwill in one of my videos. And I said, oh, doesn't that go with something? But we don't have it with anything either, except we do have it sitting on this little candle holder, which does make it look kind of nice. All right, let's look over here. I did miss one of the coaster sets. So I'm going to go ahead and run these this week. We sold three sets of coasters like this last week, but we missed the cows. This is another one of Annette's creations. It's kind of a fun little, like a bar sign with all the fun things. It's actually, you can really spin that. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's like for a drinking game, right? But that's really, really cute. So if anybody wants me to run that, again, I'd be happy to do so. I just realized the liquid, the liquid in that little wine glass moves. That's fabulous, actually. And then she's got this little one with all the little baby shoes, too. She's so creative. I love it. Let's see. And oh, <laughs> human organ for transplant. Let's open that up. Let's see what she's done in there. Oh, no, there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. It's just a little case that says human organ for transplant. And then it says uh, AMR critical care paramedic on the other side. It's just fun. And what are you little guys? Oh, they're little like spinny things. You know what? I feel like I could put some of those in the buy now section too. The reason I put this lightweight stuff over there is Number one, I mean, you can find something fun to buy, of course, but if it's super lightweight, you buy one of these first, and then the heavier stuff is all discounted shipping. So we'll, we'll put some of those in the buy now section. Our crafting section seems to never, ever end. We get lots and lots of crafting stuff. We get health and beauty stuff. And of course, lots of dishes and kitchen stuff as well, as you can imagine. And we have it all together over here now. Those are, that, that's gotta be 2225th. What do you wanna bet? No, it's no, Royal Norfolk. I would not have guessed that. I would have guessed that that was 2225th. Go figure, huh? 
And then we've got our mugs happening over here. And we've got our little doggy section here. I guess not just doggy. Doggy, kitty. Look at that cozy little bed. I feel like Ozzy might really like that. We've got hamster stuff still. All that hamster stuff is a dollar for the whole bucket full of it. I am so surprised. I'm still, I'm going to honor it on that one because it just needs to like get off my shelf. So if you want to come by that, if you're local, there's all these pieces and parts of a habit trail in there that could just be yours. All right. And this is just the other side of where we already saw all the glasses. And that's it. Oh, I forgot this little section here on the end. Uh, this came in a couple weeks ago, actually almost a month ago, and uh, nobody snagged it. It is a Shannon Crystal slot machine sculpture. So you know what? This is getting run in the sale. Then we have our, what I like to call our man section back here. Sporting goods is over here. And boy, I have some work to do getting it cleaned up today. It's getting a little crowded over here, but this is where we put like some bigger household items. We've got some camping stuff up here and then all our pots and pans, our plastics, and then our small kitchen appliances are all over here as well. And we get some really good ones in. Now, if you watch Sunny and Mikey's uh, channel, you will have heard the news that they will be leaving the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Um, I am super sad about it, super, super sad, but I also understand completely uh, why they need to pull out of here. Uh, I'm going to let Sunny and Mikey share the details of that, but uh, rest assured, guys, we are still hard, fast friends. There's no animosity between us, and it's for very personal family reasons uh, that it's happening and I'm super sad to see them go, but they're also welcome back anytime that life would lead them this way. So we're going to be doing something pretty interesting in this room. So you're going to want to stay tuned for what's happening once uh, we get to the end of the month and Mikey and Sunny are no longer in this room. And then the fabulous Carrie is back with me this week. And I've already talked to her about maybe running a few things from her fabulous booth so that she can uh, move some merchandise. She has been restocking like a crazy woman. And I know people have asked to run, have certain things run out of this room. So I don't know which items we're going to run. If you have a super duper preference... By all means, do leave it in the comments. We'll take that into consideration. But the ultimate decision is up to Carrie. And I'm sure she'll make some good decisions. Oh my gosh, I haven't even seen half of this stuff she's put in the room. Look at these little, little soldier guys, Barclays. They're Barclays, cast metal. And then, of course, she has uh, reloaded her whole salt and pepper shelf up here with fabulous goodness. So, yay. I love seeing her room fill up. It's fantastic. And she'll be with me tomorrow during the sale. All right, we've got our pillow section over here. What does that say? And the angel said to him, stop hitting yourself. But he could not stop for the angel was hitting him with his own hands. Hmm. Okay, well that's an interesting uh that's an interesting uh, quote to put on a pillow. But hey, what do I know? And here is another little section we have over here. Still have my little diorama boxes. I'm waiting for somebody just to make me an offer on these little bad boys. I've had them for quite a while, but I've also got a really good price on them. I really don't want to ship them, though. That's the thing. I would love somebody to come into the store and make me an offer because I just am so afraid shipping would destroy these. So here they sit, just looking pretty. 
And for those who may not know, Picker Road now has their own YouTube channel. I know I'm having fun watching their videos because their style is to throw in some cool scenery, some um, sites that you may not be aware of wherever their travels take them. And it's super fun to watch. And of course, they are personal friends. So I do love seeing them pick the items and then having them end up here in their booth. Now, little birdie tells me they're going to be doing a whatnot sale right after mine on Monday. So again, if you see something fabulous in this booth that you'd like them to run, I can pass that on to them. Oh, look at that little miniature. These are great. Let them know the things that you would like them to sell on their Monday sale. I know they'd be happy to. I see, oh, I found out something about this mug yesterday. It's musical. It's a musical Snoopy mug. And Harleen has some fabulous jewelry. I'm pretty smitten with this malachite necklace. And... I think I'm gonna convince her to let me run this in my sale. What do you guys think? And of course, one more section that they have over here, including the glowy glass. Isn't it interesting, the different shades of glow? Like this really super glows, and these just barely glow. Almost have to be here in person to see it glowing. Oh, he's very sweet. Ah, uh, Rachel might be getting another little dolphin sculpture. I'm just going to say. Is that Bakelite? I feel like that might be Bakelite. It's got a peacock feather on it. That bangle bracelet. Goodness, they have some cool stuff. Oh my gosh, look at these. <gasps> I love those. Those are so cool. Made in Italy. Oh, they're sur la, sur la table. table. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And of course, there is the amazing Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas. This is her room. I saw this and I'm like, oh, where could I put that? He's so cute. I don't have any place to put him, unfortunately, but hopefully one of you does and can come here and snag it. Now she's doing a little something in her booth. If you see the pink over the price, that means she has marked that down 25%. I think she was toying with doing like a huge, huge sale here in the booth so that she could just come bring in a bunch of all new stuff. So be watching her channel for that announcement. So that's 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 where I got to learn about it, too. So uh, we're both so busy. We have trouble connecting and getting this information so we watch each other's videos and find stuff out. But uh, she does have a lot of things marked down in here. I know that for sure. And I heard her say there's going to be more. I think this week I am going to pull some stuff out of this cabinet to sell. There's some beautiful glass pieces, including some of these. Uh, they're known as dolphins, but they're fish. I don't know why they call them dolphins because they don't look like dolphins. They're fish, but, you know, the technical term. Um, but I think I'm going to sell those. I think I might sell some of the little salt sellers. Things, you know, that are easy to ship. <laughs> the uh, Fostoria American Coasters. We might do those. Maybe the little, uh, the little um, juice glasses back there. Yeah. And if you see anything else that super excites you, let me know. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Shop the Shelves of the Good Stuff Thrift Store. I have some work to do. I have to get all of this stuff now uploaded into the What Not catalog so you can go over there and see what's going to be for sale. I hope you will join me at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Monday, the 6th. Is it the 6th? The 6th. It's the 6th. <laughs> I'm losing track of the days. Uh, we will be there. We're there every week. Every Monday we do that. And if you look down in the very first comment of this video, there is a link. If you've never signed up for Whatnot, you can get $15 to spend any way you want over there. It doesn't have to be in my sale. It can be in Tiffany's sale. It can be in Picker Road's sale. It can be Mikey or Sunny's sale. Just go grab your 15 bucks to spend. 
and there is a link directly to the sale that's going to happen on Monday if you're already all signed up and want to come over and bookmark that sale. All right, I will see you on Monday at the Whatnot Sale. Until then, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.